Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the Phase Zero back again with some more Walking Dead. In episode 3, we found a train, and Duck died. And Carly died, and we left Lily behind because she killed Carly. And then we found out that Ben was responsible, so Ben should have died and Carly should be alive. But he, but she's not. And then, but, for those of you who read the comics, Lily appears in the comics. And for those of you who haven't read the comics, I'm not going to say any more because that's borderline spoiler, but she does play a pretty big role. I just think it's cool how the cross happens between the universes maybe we'll see Lily on the show maybe, maybe not without further ado though let's do episode 4 oh man so we've reached we've reached Savannah guys we're home free maybe not this doesn't look too promising Oh, damn. Candy's got a gun. Ben's got a gun. Oh. <laughs> He's just hobbling along. Clementine. Clementine. There we go. Oh, Can't I just walking. hold it? Guess not. Maybe, maybe Just later. For a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can. Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's O'Neill? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. <laughs> he needs to rest. What you call? We need to keep moving. It's not safe to stop out here in the open. We need to keep moving. He can rest after we find a boat and get out on the water. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Ben can carry him. He's a strong, strapping what? young man. No, that's not an option. We can't... Lady, I've known you for all of 12 hours. You don't get to say we unless you mean just you and him. You know, since this all started, I've seen the best come out of a lot of people and the worst come out of a lot of others. Guess we know which side you came down on. There you go again. We. There is no we. There's us, and there's you and your boyfriend slowing us down. I'm staying oh, silent. Hell, I'm staying out of this. <laughs> you taking a look around lately? It ain't that long a trip. I ain't getting involved. Thanks ain't a lot problem. for the support. No, fuck you. What the hell? That noise is gonna draw walkers. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know, I know what, I, what saw. I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! I oh, thought damn. you said that thing didn't work. It didn't. Who Dude, is this? Was... Is that you up in the bell tower? We gotta go. We gotta go! What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not street. for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? I said... Me. I said we should get off the fucking street! No one listened to me! Did you not think the sound was going to attract the walkers? Everybody, run! Do I have to, like, make myself run? Thank God. That'd be tough. Oh, Mead can't run! Clementine, we gotta go! We gotta go! Oh, I saw that coming a mile away. Kitty! You're lucky I saved you, Kenny. Don't you think?
Ben, you son of a bitch. God damn it, Ben. Maybe I won't save you later. No! Thank God. Sorry. Get the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. Thank you. Let me say something to him. No! I didn't get to thank him. He's gonna die. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Trouble. We gotta help him. Kenny, you son of a bitch, we're no not bailing time. again. We gotta go now. I'll Fuck you, Kenny. Just go. Oh my god. Kenny keeps getting people fucking killed. Fuck you, Kenny. I'll get the door. He's down. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Sounds good. Let's get inside. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. I'll find a you way in. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. There we go. Hmm, Clementine, got to talk to you. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No, they didn't see us. No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. So will I. God damn it, Ben. Is there anything out here? Looks like something was buried here. Is it a dog? Is that thing is something gonna come out of that and come and kill us? It's a dog house. That's the last thing we need right now, is zombies rising back here. Dog house. Fountain. Nothing Not in the fountain? Enough to drink that yet. <laughs> no kidding. Um, I'll take the shovel. The shovel is never not useful. Oh my god, can we dig up the dirt mound? Oh my god! This is so sick and twisted, guys, but we gotta do it. It's giving us the option. There's gotta be something down here. Don't think I wanna start digging up God knows what until we find a way into that house first. Ah, goddammit, Lee. You're no fun. Can I hit Omit? Oh man, I was gonna say, can I hit Omit? Ooh, Ben is in the bushes? Ben. What? About what happened back there on the street. The fuck were you thinking? I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. That's right, Lee. You tell him. I hear you. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you Kenny. think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's... It's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm gonna go check things out. Okay, all we right. have a shovel. What else do we have? Can we bash the barred Maybe window? We won't be able to bust through that. Really? Not even with the shovel? The wind won't be able to bust through that. Fuck! Okay. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Not even with the... The wind won't be able to bust through that. What about the dog door? The wind won't be able to bust through that. What's this? Pet door. Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio-controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. That's why we have to dig up the All dirt right. mound. So, where's the dog? The dirt mound. 
The dirt mound. We gotta dig up a dead dog. This is kind of sick and twisted. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Clem, get back. Down there. Stay away. Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to... Just do no. what I say, okay? Zombie dog? Oh god, the smell. Please don't be zombie dog. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Zombie dog? Oh! Okay, that is not cool. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh my god. I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're I said I'm fine, okay? Is she pregnant? Hmm, that could be interesting. Alright, so now we should be able to get into the doggy door. We're gonna have to send Clem in, aren't we? Fuck. There goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. We won't be, be able to. <clears throat> it's no good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem! Son of a bitch! Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! Holy shit. You should have asked Clint, me first. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. She's going all Carl on have me. have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. From there? Oh god, this is gonna end terribly. There's gonna be some fucking cannibal living in this house. Even though we already did deal with cannibals, maybe we're okay on the cannibal front. Maybe leather faces in here. Red leather, yellow leather. Well, it's a pretty nice house. Oh god, there's a family photo uh, there. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Beb. 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 Baby! So, what are you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I, I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? It's true. How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. They're stalking these us. the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to find Chuck. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. What are we gonna do on the boats, Kenny? What if we run out of food? Are you serious? 
place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right. Where's Clem? You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Why is he the leader? What the fuck? Is there anything I can do? Thanks. I got it. Hang out with Chris and Omid until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. <laughs> he does have a natural way with kids. Scolds them? Not really scolding, but you know what I mean. Keeps them in check without embarrassing them. All empty. Son of a bitch. No power. No power. My dog, Walter. Thank you, Walter. You saved us. Take dog food. <laughs> Someone's gonna come up and snack it out of my hand like Rick. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. This is true. Let's go explore a little bit, Lee. No, I don't want to climb the stairs. door here. Here we go. Here we go. Jesus! Holy fuck. What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Alright, what's down here? Nothing but broken. Oh, there's a door here. Let's do this, Lee. What? All clear in here. We don't get to investigate Just one it. More to check. There's paintings everywhere. Seems like a rich family. Bastards. Wish I could live in a house like this. That's weird. Not exactly my style. What the hell was that? Alright, last door, people. What's behind door number three? Do do. Do do. Ah! Is it basement? No, it's a bathroom. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Is there not a basement in this house? Please ain't got much. There's a door behind the pot. Here for a while, at least until it quiets down Oh outside. my god. Good. Thanks. What are we doing? Why are we doing this? Omid's dead. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, just some dog food. Yeah, don't think that's quite I the same thing. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? Back off, Krista. I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine. Honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Uh-oh. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. What the fuck? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Kenny? Stay here. I don't like this. Oh man. Kenny? What the fuck? 
That's not good. He's losing it. Kenny, you okay, man? He's lost it. He's oh, at a mental Jesus. break. What the hell is that? Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? Can't be. Kinda looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out of here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not, not again. I got this. I can't ask you to go through this again. Let me take care of it. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Do, 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 do. This must have been where he slept. All that day. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. What a way to live. What a way to die. Just ran out of food, like we almost did. Like we still might. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been clear time if I hadn't found her when I did. Yep. Time. Time to die, zombie. Say good night. I'm sorry. Out of your misery. You ain't no starving zombie Listen, that can't even move. How I'll are we take gonna, care of it. How are we gonna get him out of the attic? Oh, dude, really? We're not we're not even gonna wrap him in a blanket or something? Oh man. That's just messed up. We can bury him with Walter at least. Take him to the grave with Walter. Let him be with his dog. It's a little disturbing, isn't it? First we had to take the collar off a dead dog whose head fell off. We had to stomp the head of a little boy. Now we're burying them together. This game's getting really dark, guys. It's getting really dark. <laughs> We're not going to have any humanity left by the time this is over. Alright. We didn't even learn the kid's name. I don't even know his name. Sorry you had to see this clam. Don't lose faith in me.
Holy fuck.